Once upon a time, photorealism in CG was like Bigfoot. Highly sought after, but very rarely seen. But as time has gone on, advancements in CG technology has made photorealism more accessible. Now it's no longer just impressive, but often expected that you can achieve photorealistic renders. For example, movie studios rely on photorealism to blend their CG elements with live action backplates. Game companies are in constant competition to create the most realistic game of the year to wow their audiences and increase sales. Countless other industries like product photography and TV commercials are moving to CG as well, but again, all requiring photorealistic results. So it goes without saying, if you wanna work in the industry or even just create artwork that gets noticed online, photorealism is a worthy goal to pursue. But as any artist will tell you, that's easier said than done. So how do you get there? Hi, I'm Andrew Price, the founder of Polygon. In this video, I'm just gonna give you a very quick overview of what Polygon is and how it can help you to create more photorealistic renders. But to start with, we're just gonna talk about what it is about textures in particular that's so important for photorealism. While it's true that every area of 3D contributes to photorealism, few are as important as the material. As a CG artist myself with 10 years experience, I've noticed that a scene can have just about everything going for it, but if the materials aren't right, it just looks off. The viewer can feel that something's wrong. The artist Alex Roman, who made the third and the seventh, said that 90% of the time, the materials and lighting carry the weight of creating truly realistic imagery. The bottom line is, if you want photorealistic results, you need to be putting special attention into your materials. Traditionally, if you wanted to create a material like say a wooden floor, you'd go online and you'd download a texture like this. Now, if you add it to your 3D software as is, you'll see that it looks pretty terrible. And this is because the software doesn't know how to treat the material. It doesn't know where the bumps are or where there's more reflection or less. It's just working with a plain colored image. So that's why most professional artists create what are called maps. Maps are separate image textures that control specific parts of the material. So this super contrasted black and white map could be used to control the reflective properties of the material. And this purple looking normal map controls the bumps of the material. When combined, the results are night and day. Maps are the secret ingredient to making materials that truly pop. And if you've never used them before, you'll be amazed at how big of a difference it makes to the realism of your materials and the overall render. But the problem is that generating these maps is time consuming. It requires special software and lots of testing to do it right. So spending an hour on one texture alone is not unusual. And so if you've got a scene with over 50 textures, you can see how that would add up pretty quickly. As 3D artists ourselves, we wanted to fix this problem. So we created Polygon, an online library of textures that includes all the relevant maps for you. So you can just download them and use them in any 3D software. No more messing around with third-party software, trying to generate and test the maps yourselves. In just one click, you've got expertly crafted color, normal, displacement, glossy, and reflection maps. The maps are simple JPEGs that'll work in any 3D software. And if you're familiar with maps already, you can just connect them like you normally would. Or if you're new to this, we've also got tutorials on the site for all major 3D applications showing you how to use it. And that's not all because as well as full materials, we've also created a new type of map called overlays. Overlays are to combat another problem in CG, everything looking too clean and too perfect. In the real world, almost every surface is covered in some form of wear and tear. It's just natural. And so if your material doesn't have this, it's going to look off. But finding these materials online is surprisingly difficult. So we've created this missing collection of textures that all artists need. Scratches, dust, fingerprints, smudges, smears, dirt, and more. Captured and made specially for 3D artists. These overlays can be used in combination with any material, 
as a one-two punch to make it look really incredible. And in terms of texture quality, you can rest easy. As we went out of the way to ensure that every texture on the site matches the expectations that we'd want ourselves as artists. So the textures were captured at ultra high resolutions, most available in 8K and some even as high as 24K. Always in focus and crystal sharp so you can truly see the details in the textures. And best of all, they're seamless. So you can tile them on any large surface without ever seeing another unsightly seam again. There's even more I haven't mentioned yet, like graphic designs for scene building, sci-fi patterns for futuristic scenes, detailed fabric, and plenty more in development right now. Polygon is your one-stop site to get photorealistic renders. All right, so that is Polygon, a library of high-quality textures and assets to help you create more photorealistic renders. So to get started, just go to polygon.com where you can start a free 30-day trial of the site. Um, so there's no obligations, there's no credit card required, um, there's no limitations either, so it's a fully featured uh, trial. Um, so just go to polygon.com to try it out, and I'll see you on the inside. Thanks for watching.